ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, the um, SDEM, the Sovereign Education Defense Ministry, SEDM, um, or the Sovereign Defense Education Ministry, SDEM, and Family Guardian, the partnership of the two organizations. The best place you can go to understand about taxes. Now, I don't agree with everything because people cannot be sovereign. Pay attention. People cannot be sovereign, but the people and their posterity can be sovereign as a group, not as individuals. Because think about it. It was the people who inaugurated the Constitution, not the person. So it is the people collectively that held that they were the sovereign as a group. Hold on now. I'm not here to talk about that. But I am here to talk about something that I've been trying to point out. And I couldn't point it out any better than with this idiot named John Locke. Now, John Locke, hold on now. John Locke, hold on now. John Locke, who the courts put all of their faith in because they said he was some laureate. Pay attention, we're not going to talk about whether, by natural reason, or by the word of God, the earth could be considered the property of the people and common to use of their survival and benefit. That's what he stated. Hold on now, did you know that property, your labor, is property? What, you didn't know that? Oh, wait. For individual property to exist, there must be a means for an individual to appropriate the things around them. Locke starts out with the idea that property of person, each person owns his own body, his or her. And all of the labor that they perform with that body, when an individual adds to their labor, their own property, to a foreign object or good, that object becomes their own because they have added it to their labor. Ladies and gentlemen, basically what he's saying is that you are your own property. You are property. Pay attention, people are property. Hold on now, I done told y'all that. But what he's also saying is that your labor is non-taxable because that's your property. If you were a slave, then your master would own your labor, i.e. slavery. Your labor is not taxable. Hold on. Let me make sure y'all understand because some of y'all won't understand. IRC 83. Okay? Vent they sink, say, vent they say, IRC. Quare, no, that's, uh, that's ochenta today. Sorry, about to say quarenta. Uh, Property transferred. Now, we're going to break it down. We ain't going to go over the whole thing. Ain't going to go over the whole thing. But you need to go over this thing called Section 83. General rule. This is general. Y'all remember general, don't y'all? General. His last name was Lee. Generally. Generally, if in connection, pay attention, if in connection with the performance of services, labor. Property is transferred to another person other than the person for whom such services is performed. The excess of, pay attention! Because I've been telling you that it's anything over and above your necessities. The excess, meaning bonuses. The excess, meaning commission. The excess, meaning tips. But your labor is not considered in excess. It's an equal, even exchange. Pay attention. The fair market value of such property determined without regard to any restriction other than the restriction which by its terms will never lapse. Well, the only restriction is that you own it. It's your labor. You cannot be taxed on it. That's the only restriction. At the first time, the right of the person having the beneficial interest 
in such property are transferable or are not subject to the substantial risk of forfeiture, whichever occurs earlier. Hold on now. Let me make sure y'all understand what's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's saying anything beyond the initial transfer. See, when it's transferred, pay attention. When it's transferred, it is not subject. See, pay attention. In connection with the performance of the services of property transferred to another person, other than the person for whom the services are performed, beyond the original agreement, in excess of, so beyond that, the fair market value of such property, skip all of that, at the first time, the rights of the person having the beneficial interest of such property are transferred when they give it to someone else. And are not, or excuse me, or are not subject to a substantial risk of forfeiture, whether whichever occurs first, over the amount, over the amount of any paid, uh, uh, if any, paid for such property. In other words, beyond the even exchange, pay attention, that's capital gains, shall be included in the gross income of the person who performs such services in the first taxable year in which the rights of the person having the beneficial interests of such property are transferable or are not subject to any substantial risk of forfeiture, whether whichever is applicable. Ladies and gentlemen, in excess, beyond, over and above, pay attention, over, in excess, beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, anything beyond your gross income, anything beyond your gross income, that's your necessity is taxable. Anything beyond, anything over those necessities, anything short of those necessities are not taxable. Okay, hold on. Let's make sure the preceding sentence shall not apply if the person sells or otherwise disposes of such property in an arm's length transaction just between me and my employer before his rights in such property become transferable or are subject to a substantial risk of forfeiture. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot pay attention. You cannot tax me on my income. Why? B does not apply. Why? Because B only applies. Pay attention. The election to include in gross income in year of transfer. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is if you include it in the year of transfer. You're not transferring your labor. Your labor is not what it's talking about here. What is it talking about? It's talking about when you receive the compensation. The compensation is the property. The compensation for your labor is the property. You're not receiving it as a transfer. You are the one who are receiving it as a beneficial interest. You have the beneficial interest in the property. Why? Because you're giving your labor. That property belongs to you. You're giving your labor. You're not transferring your labor. You're giving your labor in exchange. You're doing an arm's length, length transaction. You're giving it in exchange for compensation. That compensation is the agreement. That's the arm's length transaction, not taxable. However, if you were then to take that arm's length transaction and transfer it to someone else, what, like to a bank? No transfer it to somebody else in which to gain, in which to gain, then it is taxable. Because it's above and beyond what you agreed to at the beginning. Now, if you don't believe me, go over Section 83. I know it's going to sound complicated. I know it's going to sound confusing, but it is not. It is not as confusing as people are going to want to make it seem. Why? Because you need to know the foundation. They don't have the right to tax you on your private property. They do not have the right to tax you on your person. They do not have the right to tax your labor. There is no constitutional provision in law for taxing you on your labor. There is the argument has always been whether the income tax was legal or non-legal. Income tax is wholly legal. Holy kamoly! Let me show you how much income tax is wholly legal. Give me a second. Uh, I can't use none of those because that ain't it. Hold on. 
Uh, da -da. You're going to have to go to Family Guardian to get this, but you're going to do this. W4. I don't want the W4V. Get that out of here. I want W4T as in Tom. W4T font. Downloadable. Google search. That's what we want. W4T. Not W4. See, that's W4. I want y'all to pay attention because some of y'all are not paying attention to me. And I want y'all to pay attention. See, Family Guardian. We're going to click on this one. Voluntary. Pay attention. Voluntary withholding agreement. Now, this is an amended form. This one don't exist in reality other than the fact that Family Guardian created it. But hold on. I did this with a group of people earlier today. We're going to take this statement right here. Just this right here to let you see that they didn't really do nothing. They just created a form to convey what they were trying to convey. So hold on a second, if y'all don't mind. We're going to tap and we're going to paste. And this, pay attention. This is video number 22C. One second. In the empowerment series. Because you guys need to be empowered. Look, John Locke, there he is again. How did he end up in here? Oh, no, because we done messed up. It didn't take us there. It took us. No, I didn't say that. I think it did wrong, y'all. We're going to have to do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it in the morning. Okay, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So I can't do that. That's the, it didn't copy. So I got to do it again, y'all. Sweet breeze in the summertime. Feeling my sweet face. All laid up next to her. Sweet love in the midnight. Good sleep come on in life. Y'all don't worry about nothing. Just getting good. Just getting good. Just getting good love. That's the staple singers, y'all. Y'all know me and the staple singers. We go way back like rock and chill. Okay? I mean, we go so far back that the rocking chair can't even handle us, all right? Voluntary. Now, hold on now. Voluntary. Now, hold on, y'all. Voluntary withholding agreement. Wait a minute. Voluntary? What you mean by voluntary? Well, let's see. Voluntary withholding agreement. Employer, employee, employer, employee agreement. An employee, you, and his employer, your boss, May enter into May, June, July, August, September, may enter into an agreement under Section 3402, P3A. Why would I want to do that? Oh, to provide for the withholdings of income tax upon payment of amounts described in paragraph B1 of subsection 31-3401-A-3. Made after December 1970. Wait a minute. What do, you, what do you mean? I may do that. What if I don't want to do that? An agreement may be into May. Uh, there's that word may again. Hey, Annie. Annie. They're talking about your sister. Yeah, May. Okay, Annie May. Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I did the story about Grandma Annie May. L l ladies and gentlemen, an agreement may be entered into under this section only. In respects to the amount which are includable in the gross income of an employee under Section 61. Well, I don't give up about no Section 61, y'all. Y'all got to hold on a second. I'll be right back. Apologize. I was getting ready to do myself some quesadilla, some cheese and eggs, quesadilla. And then I said, no, let's do the breakfast burrito thing. And I said, you know what? Uh-uh, let's do the pancake thing. You made those pancakes the other day, and those things were the bomb. So I decided to do pancakes, and so I've got my little lid on my skillet, and I'm doing pancakes, so y'all just gonna have to pardon me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me let me explain something to y'all, so y'all will get it. Withholdings is voluntary. Now, I know some of y'all don't believe me. Withholdings tax is voluntary. Now, I know some of y'all don't believe me. Withholdings tax is voluntary. Now, I'm going to say it again. I know some of y'all don't believe me. So watch this. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to put W, F, O. Now, now hold on now. We, we, ain't, we ain't stopping there. Instead of T, we're going to put a word that, a letter that sounds like T. V for Victor. V. W for V as in Victor. 
Let's see what a W-4V form is. Oh, there it is. See, the IRS recognizes W-4V. Look at that. W-4V, as in Victor. Voluntary withholding request. <laughs> this one is for unemployment compensation. You know, they don't have to take nothing out of your unemployment check. Or for certain federal government and other payments. Well, the federal government, don't they do income tax? Voluntary withholding request. Hold on now. Let me make sure y'all understand. We can go to box number five because some of y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. That's unemployment. I said box number five. Box number seven. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't read ahead of me. I want to enlarge that so y'all can see. I want to stop. In the name of love. Withholding federal income taxes from my payment. Oops. There are instructions, people. Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Now, there's a consequence that comes with this when you do it, okay? I need y'all to know that. But we have a workaround with the consequences. Data Mass is going to implement that program shortly. Data Mass. D A T A M A S dot org. We tried to tell all of you that. They cannot tax you on your labor. That there is no law to tax you on your labor. You are voluntarily being taxed on your labor. That is your fault. Yeah, I know, I know. You didn't know that the forms existed, but they've been here the whole time. They've, they've never gone anyplace. This wasn't just 2018. Watch this. Let's go back. Let's make sure you all see W4. Now watch what I do right here. One nine seven three. I just I think that there no. You know what? There wasn't a W four in one nine seven three. No, no. They just created the form. Uh oh. I can't do. Ooh nine nine nine. Ooh. Let's see if there was nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Ooh man. I know it was the nineties because I was doing. It came about nineteen ninety four or something. I don't know what year it came about. But, uh-oh, see, I put 1994, and you see it didn't pull up a 1994. Okay, so let, let's do 1996. I know when it came out, I was no longer working for an employer. I was working for myself, okay? So when the W-4s first came out, beginning January 1st, 1997, you will receive, if you receive any government payment shown below, you may use the W-4. Okay? See, they rhyme. You may use a W-4 and below. Below and fo. They rhyme. Y'all see that? Anyway, let me make sure y'all understand. I wasn't using W-4s. Okay? Because I was employed by the company. The only problem is I need to be using the W-4 because I'm the only employee of the company. You feel me? All right. We're going to explain that to y'all later as well. But we had to get across y'all this information. Hold on one second. Ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I can explain this in a way to which you guys may understand. Your regular tax preparer is not going to do your taxes the correct way. They're going to do it the way that they are customarily trained and taught to do them. Why? Because they are not trained according to the code. They are trained according to custom, policy, procedure, and the courts coming up with a stupid opinion. Do you know that the government gets a whole lot more money when you pay into the system that way? Now, if you're paying into Social Security, how could Social Security be running out of money? Pay attention. If you are paying into Social Security out of your check every month, how can it run out of money by the time you get to 165? Because I only paid 40000 into Social Security my entire life, and now I'm going to be on Social Security, and I could be on Social Security for the next 40 years because I plan on living to be 112. Okay, that's fine. That, that's reasonable to ask that question. Well, what about the people who don't make it to 65? What about all those people who they purposely gave cigarettes to so that they die early? What? 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 Did I say something wrong? 
Oh, no, no. Remember, it was the government who said cigarettes did not cause cancer. The government said that. Remember, they had those baby boomers? Pay attention. And when did they promote cigarettes more so than any other time in history? And when did they start adding all those other carcinogens into cigarettes? Was it not after the baby boomers? Did they not market those cigarettes to the baby boomers? And who's dying mostly from cancer of the lungs and everything prior to COVID? Was it not the baby boomers? So don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. You have somebody who died, who was part of that baby booming generation, and they died of cigarettes one way or another. What are the coincidences? What are the chances of everybody having somebody that they know? And what do you think? It was a coincidence that those people just croaked, died of this or that other cancer that's directly associated with cigarette smoking? Yeah, but there's a warning on the side of the box. Yep, there is a warning so that they cannot be held accountable for you doing something and saying you had no clue. They told you it may cause cancer. June, July, August, and September. Yeah, it may cause cancer. Hmm, ain't that something? So, the tax preparers are not going to tell you that since they are charging you <laughs> your wages, that's your agreement with the government. Now, what's your benefit? Well, government said they were going to take care of your necessities. There's a young man who created something called the W-4 sandwich. I told everybody that he was right on the money, but he was too um, too much thinking that he was 100% right to listen. But he was right up to a point that the employer owes you that money that <laughs> y'all don't get it, do y'all? You're not supposed to be taxed on it. The employer is getting the benefit from it. You guys don't realize they're getting the benefit from it. The reason why they get the benefit, that's why they get to write off everything, ladies and gentlemen. This is just bookkeeping entry. Once you understand bookkeeping entry, then you'll get it. But you don't understand bookkeeping entry, so you'll never get it. If you start doing the accrual method, you will get a larger refund every single year. But many of you don't know how to do the accrual method. Ladies and gentlemen, this channel is not going to teach you how to do the accrual method. It's going to tell you that you have the right to do the accrual method. So what do you need to know? Ladies and gentlemen, there are a couple of forms that are available for you to fill out that deal directly with withholdings. So watch what we're going to do. Give me one second. Can you provide me a list of all of the IRS tax forms that specifically involve filing of withholdings, comma, including the W-4s? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, after this, I'm going to have to go. I have a meeting in less than four minutes, so... I'm going to leave you all with this answer, and it's going to give you a list. I'm not going to tell you which forms you need to fill out regarding your withholdings and regarding getting compensation for your withholdings, okay? Now, we don't care nothing about no pensions, and we don't care nothing about no sick pay. Some of you do. We don't care nothing about voluntary withholding requests. And we don't care nothing about employee annual federal unemployment, blah, 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 blah. Oh, annual return of withheld federal income tax. Used to report federal income tax withheld from non-payroll payments, including pensions and, ooh-wee, and look at that. Oh, look at, oh, man, they just giving me a whole lot. And so you guys are going to do the same thing, and you're going to figure out the forms because if you're going to be saying that you're not going to do the withholdings, and you're going to have to figure out another way around the withholdings. Okay? Hey, I got to go. Uh, by the way, he's saying, these forms play various roles in the process of withholdings and reporting and paying federal income taxes, Social Security and Medicare taxes, unemployment taxes, and federal tax obligations. There are no tax obligations unless you volunteer to be obligated. Don't take my word for it. Go 
and prove it for yourself. Start at Family Guardian. They have a wealth of resources. They've been doing that since the 90s. So go ahead and take a look at Family Guardian. Uh, you know, I think it's Family Guardian. I think they are a .com or .org, but y'all gonna have to go do your own research on that, okay? Family Guardian, what are you, a .org or .com? .org, familyguardian.org.org, okay? Familyguardian.org. Hey, everybody. Yes, I give a shout-out to Family Garden. And uh, uh, what do you call it, 1215.org? 1215.org. Billy Bob Thornton, Bill Thornton. All right, got to go. Take care.